हरे कृष्ण एवरी वन होप यू हैड अ लवली डे वेलकम टू सोमा वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फिफ्थ हाउस ऑफ अ बर्थ चार्ट इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी द फिफ्थ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एंड हैंस इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द पुत्र भाव let us see what all things can we see from the fifth house the first thing that we can see is creativity your hobbies your passion since sun is the natural ruler of the fifth house okay sun is creative so all types of gifted hobbies that you get okay that comes under the domain of fifth house okay it can be any hobby theater cinema dancing photography singing okay any type of hobby gifted talent that is seen from the fifth house okay since fifth house shows creativity what is creativity what is hobby hobby is nothing but something which you like to do something which you are passionate about it is a medium okay with which you express yourself okay this can be any medium drama arts photography music sports dancing designing so what are you doing you are essentially discovering yourself okay it is a form of self expression divine intelligence and hence self discovery is also seen from the fifth house now the next thing that we see from the fifth house is purva punya purva punya is nothing but the blessings that you are getting in this life from the good deeds that you have done in your previous life now have you wondered why everyone is not a great singer or everyone is not a great dancer or a great footballer if fifth house shows self expression then why are only some people who are really extremely blessed that is because fifth house is the house of purva punya it depends on the good deeds that you have done in past life okay so that is the reason you should understand that whatever talents that you are gifted in this life is based on the blessings uh, of the good deeds that you have done in previous life it is interlinked okay so that is the reason whatever talent that you have been gifted in this life maybe it is painting singing theater drama research it has been endowed upon you due to your past life deeds the next thing that we see from the fifth house is recreational activities fifth house is the house of leisure entertainment you know getting um joy from enjoying okay so whatever activities that you like to do in your leisure time maybe you like to do some you know drama practice maybe you like to watch cinema netflix enjoy in the swimming pool play a sport or maybe you know um adventure in the amusement parks so any form of recreational activity is also seen from the fifth house fifth house is the house of children your relationship with children whether you are destined to have children in this lifetime or not whether it will be an easy birth or easy pregnancy or whether there will be complications in your pregnancy miscarriage abortion so all these things can also be seen from the fifth house so you should understand that you know having a getting a children in this lifetime is also dependent on your purva punya because both of these things is seen from the same house the next thing that we see from the fifth house is romantic partners your short term relationships your girlfriends boyfriends temporary relations that you have your love affairs okay so all these uh, romantic associations can also be seen from the fifth house
the next thing that we see from the fifth house is risk taking ability in money okay whether you like to gamble whether you are in into betting you know speculations in the stock market um maybe in today's uh, generation we can also include cryptocurrencies as well because any type of risky bets that you are placing um with uh, the mindset to have huge gains or huge returns okay that is also part of the fifth house <coughs> the next thing that we see from the fifth the next thing that we see from the fifth house is politics huge political influence because natural house of sun in the kal purush kundali is the fifth house so anyone who wants to enter into politics fifth house becomes a key house to be looked into okay whether you have um, the blessings to have that kind of a political influence or not okay so that is seen from the fifth house the fame that you get due to your creative work okay the celebrity status royalty status so, you know the huge uh, social influence fame or defamation all these things can be seen from the fifth house usually people of the entertainment fields or people who are highly creative highly talented highly gifted usually fame follows them it follows them due to their natural creative ability plus a little bit of hard work that they do so that is the reason fame can also be seen from the fifth house the next thing that we see from the fifth house is your bachelor's education your college education how you how well you perform or study in your bachelor's education that can be seen from the fifth house fifth house is a vidya bhava it also shows the vidya of vedic learning whether you will experience the spiritual initiation in this life or not okay acquiring of mantra siddhi vedic learning vedic knowledge okay giving astrological readings to the clients so this also becomes you know part of the fifth house because you know astrology you can also consider it as a gift a natural um, hidden ability that one has the next thing is sports okay to be an exceptionally good excellent sports person one has to be really extremely gifted along with the hard work that they are putting in okay so sports is also seen from the fifth house now let us see the people associated with the fifth house so they are children especially your first child paternal grandfather spouse of your elder sibling all the celebrity status people sports person actors directors producers people of the entertainment theater drama industry then politicians ministers authors musicians photographers stock brokers gamblers betters gynecologists pediatrician child specialist child care workers nannies etc now let us see the career that we can see from the fifth house so they are gynecology child specialist pediatrician graphic design any form of creative field such as drama arts theater photography dancing music okay any um a uh, career wherein you are turning your hobby as a career okay that type of career entertainment industry dance drama theater performing arts college education industry profession related to children working for children ngo child specialist markets share markets stock markets you know any kind of a betting job casino gamblers 
okay marketing advertising designing writing sports person okay um, art company so all these type of career can be seen from the fifth house now let us see the types of places seen from the fifth house so they are movie theaters cinema halls movie studios or studios where creative work is done any form of entertainment places sports stadiums casinos art exhibitions child centric ngos amusement parks babysitting um, you know uh, places college stock broker place maybe um kind of a dalal street which is in mumbai you know so, some place like that now let us see the body parts seen from the fifth house they are heart upper abdomen belly womb stomach liver pancreas gallbladder small intestine spine upper and middle back now let us see the relation um, of the fifth house with the other houses fifth house is second from the fourth house second house is the house of accumulated wealth fourth house is the house of mother so second from fourth shows the accumulated wealth of your mother the fixed properties of your mother fifth house is third from the third house third house we have already discussed yesterday in detail please go and watch the video if you have missed it third house is the house of communication third from third being a fifth house we have already discussed the communication in the form of a gifted self-expression or gifted communication medium which you are getting due to your good deeds in the past life fifth house is fourth from the second house second house is your immediate family fourth house is the house of comforts luxuries happiness so second fourth from second shows your the comforts the happiness of your immediate family fifth house is sixth from the twelfth house sixth house is the house of debts diseases and enemies twelfth house is the house of laws it's the house of spirituality so sixth from the twelfth shows the spiritual initiations whether one will get to do spiritual initiation in this lifetime or there will be you know all forms of enemy enemies in the form of shadrapus or obstacles are uh, coming in your way and you know maybe the initiation is not uh, written in this life so that can be seen from the fifth house fifth house is seventh from the eleventh house seventh house is the house of partners and spouse eleventh house is the house of elder siblings so seventh from eleventh shows spouse of your elder siblings fifth house is eighth from the tenth house eighth from the tenth is a dangerous one because eighth house is house of transformations and tenth house is the house of your career so eighth from tenth can show huge fall in your career huge fall in your status it can show the hurdles that you will get in your you know professional life especially this will happen when a malefic planet is transiting your fourth of uh, your fifth house it can be a saturn transit which can trigger a loss of your career okay so uh, so it all depends but it's this um no it from 10th it shows you know some issues or obstacles in your career fifth house is ninth from the ninth house ninth house is the house of luck and fortune it is a house of religious views so ninth from ninth shows your religious education your vedic learning okay learning of astrology faith in god past life blessings 
fifth house is tenth from the eighth house eighth house is the house of occult knowledge tenth from eighth shows the work that you are doing in the field of occult in the field of astrology that is the reason i told you in the earlier part of video that you know doing astrological readings that is a form of work that you're doing in the field of the occult okay your intuitive abilities the name and fame whether one will get or not in the field of occult science and astrology so that is seen from the fifth house fifth house is 11th from the seventh house 11th house is the house of gains seventh house is the house of spouse so what do you gain from your spouse your children isn't it hence 11th from seventh which means your fifth house shows your children fifth house is 12th from fifth house is 12th from the sixth house sixth house is the house of deaths diseases enemies and 12th house is the house of loss okay so 12th from sixth which is the fifth house shows loss of your enemies defeat of your enemies overcoming of your diseases overcoming of your debts now why it is showing this because again it is linked to your good karmas your purva punya so only a purva punya can get you out of all of these obstacles okay now let us see some terminologies attached to the fifth house the first terminology is panafara houses house number two five eight and eleven are called as the panafara houses panafara houses are the immediate next house of the kendra house so kendra house is what one four seven ten so panafara is two five eight eleven the one next of each of the kendra houses the panafara houses shows the money and the power and the associations that you have okay as per the scriptures kendra houses are more powerful and panafara houses are considered little less powerful compared to that of the kendra houses the next the next terminology attached to the fifth house is dharma trikona house number one five and nine is part of the dharma trikon both fifth and the ninth house relate to past life good deeds it relates to luck fortune okay these houses are the lakshmi sthanas okay the most fortunate houses in this house one needs to act very righteous one needs to be truthful one needs to follow good deeds you should understand that if you're not doing this you're automatically spoiling your luck your fortune okay because both of these elements are interrelated this thermatricone also shows the spiritual journey whether you will take it or not or what is the spiritual journey in this lifetime this dharma trikon is the most auspicious trikon and is get you like it can basically give you good wealth and wisdom okay based on the previous good deeds and is also has the ability to remove or you know overcome from the obstacles that your is coming your way I hope you guys must have liked the video. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel. Also, please do let me know in the comment section below what more videos would you like to see. Thank you.